I'm starting off with three tonal watercolours in some jars. You can see about how much here, just a blob. And then I'm going to add some water and to be honest I added a little bit too much but you can make the colour as strong as you like. And then I'm mixing up with a really large brush to get it all juicy and wonderful in the water. And don't forget to check the colour strength on a piece of paper before you get going. Then you need to hunt down some shadows in your garden or make them with a torch and a bright light somewhere indoors. I'm using my garden here and I've pinched my husband's beer carrier to hold the jars of paint and my brushes. And I'm just painting out really roughly some of the shadows onto my paper. I'm creating some more here with some different types of plant material and some different sizes of brush doing some splats and the fun thing is that when the breeze blows all of the shadows move so you get lots of different layers and interest. You can just keep going and layering up with more and more shadows until you get the effect that you really enjoy. And here are the finished layers drying in the sunshine. You can see all that juicy watercolour running together and don't forget it will dry lighter. And back in the studio I'm using some Indian ink and a stick to make some marks either following the paint of my watercolour or doodling all over the page. It really doesn't matter at this point what kind of marks you're making or whether it gets messy, it's just fun to kind of add all of that idea of undergrowth and plant life. So I'm going in darker here just to add some tonal contrast and where I've dripped in some ink on the page I'm using a water sprayer there to wet it and make these beautiful flower head shapes. It's time for even more splats just to create a sense of texture and I'm going in with some white acrylic and dropping that in as well so that it makes some really beautiful runs and rivulets in the black ink. Some final flourishes here and also using a toothbrush to create that really fine splatter which is lovely for things like pollen and breeze and gives a sense of movement. And then some additional calligraphy with a very thin paintbrush. For my final layer I thought it'd be really lovely to use a couple of oil pastels, the pink and the green that pulls out the colour of the watercolour underneath and just adds a little texture and difference to the mark making. And now for the masking tape reveal to give us that lovely white crisp edge. And there we go, a nature inspired painting created with nature's shadows. Kind of abstract and expressive. I really love it, I hope you do and I hope you give it a go and have oodles of fun. <laughs>